Welcome to my studio. My name is Ricardo Matlacas. I'm an artist based in London. And answering to your questions. So the first question is how have you been doing? Are there any plans being discontinued or have you got new inspirations? Yes, many plans have, has been discontinued. I was supposed to be in New York right now, uh, so my travel plan was cancelled, plus also all the organization behind it. I had a few exhibitions uh, here in London, uh, which I couldn't attend because of this, and also performance around that I couldn't go to. So, uh, kind of, yeah, my work was very much affected, but I, I really felt this year I needed some change. And somehow this change is not happening only to myself, but it's happening to the whole world. So I feel very much supported and probably this is what we needed, uh, really, for our consciousness as human beings. We are coming closer more together in our separation so this is what I believe and how am I doing? I'm doing great uh, I'm understanding so many things and I'm sure people is also understanding a lot and also one more thing I realized that uh, the majority of people that is online is playing like kids again so people is uh, has this thing of playing again and I like that this is uh, something that, you know, people is not uh, forced to go anywhere, uh, it's not forced to rush, there is no rush, time stopped there, simplicity got there, so it's a very exciting time. Let's go to the second one. Have you ever, have you been rethinking the value of art recently? Any changes on what, uh, and on what you think? Oh yeah, I got a new inspiration. Uh, I've been uh, creating two paintings, plus I'm making every day a structure in the garden, uh, a wooden structure that I will burn in the night. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, thinking I'm in a very good time of, uh, of reflection, but also action. Uh, this is one of the paintings I created during this time. There is a bit of light here so you can't see it probably but yeah also I have another one in the other studio. Uh, second questions uh, have you been rethinking the value of art recently? Any changes on what you think? Well I always rethink the value of art recently and I for me art is a spiritual matter anyways uh, and nowadays it's you know, it's, it's going deeper. Now I'm in a time where I'm going even deeper and deeper. So uh, it's not that I'm rethinking the value of art now, but actually I'm constantly rethinking of it. But there is also another thing that must be accompanied is the value of art. Yeah, thinking about it is cool and rationalizing is good, but it's, it's good also never to forget to be yourself because it's only when you have your own true voice that uh, the soul can uh, be seen by others, recognized, people can recognize themselves through you if you work transparent, transparently. So that's my point, one of the points. Another question from you. Does art need to respond to reality? Does the reality need responses from art as well? I think it's, uh, this question answers itself because in a way it's always, art always responds to reality even if it re re responds to surreal stuff because surreal stuff is part of reality too. So every, everything we can think with our human mind is actually part of reality and also on a meta level everything we can't even think it's it's part of reality you know so the untouchable and the touchable they're both part of reality um, I would say it doesn't need it it doesn't need a response from art as well but you can't avoid it it's all together it's glued together 
four. How do you think of social distancing? Do you mind sharing some of your life fragments, daily creations? Daily creations, well, I can show you. Uh, about the social distancing is very interesting because I noticed that even if I keep distance, everyone is keeping this distance, but there is a density in between us that we won't break because this, there is this rule in the mind and somehow the body responds to it and we all kind of dancing around this bigger aura somehow I see it as auras, a bit expanded auras not only because we need to keep the distance also maybe because our individual self is expanding so this is a nice idea uh, I like to think of uh, I show you a bit around maybe So this, this work I said I did it for the, this particular matter, it's not so, so, so clear. I'm also performing, but I will tell you later if you're interested. Yeah, these are two paintings. This is uh, what I got like in progress. And let me respond to last question. question from you is if you break through the sense of distance what question would you ask an artist a friend a relative or anybody I think the thing that I really ask I say what really matters to you what really matters to you right now what is important that's all very 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 easy uh, easy question I want to share with you a poem that I wrote Thinking of myself at the end of uh, this, uh, this lockdown, I thought, okay, what can it change? What will it be changed when all this finishes? Maybe nothing, maybe many things, but it doesn't matter. So I just uh, wrote this uh, uh, small poem, which I'll read to you. The fire will still burn, the air will still breathe, the soil will still support, the water still be life, the numbers will still count, the cash counted by clean hands, the poor still asking for small change but also ask for a, a big one, the arts still mesmerize and politicians still deceive, the air is cleaner but soon staying again in no time. Births and funerals will still look the same, but perhaps a new seed is now born to be grown in handshakes. So this is, yeah, I just wrote this poem because I felt like, okay, let me think, let me put myself in this reality where the lockdown is finished, everyone is out, what changed. So I really put myself a bit forward. But yeah, so this is uh, for now is my contribution. Um, yeah, my name is Ricardo Matlacas, and hi and goodbye from London.